After 24 years, a family in Mexico finally knows who killed their loved one and left her body on the side of the road in southern Utah. Investigators say DNA technology finally catching up with the evidence. New specialist Jed Bull showing us what enabled investigators in two different states to finally close this cold case. Jed? Yeah, exactly, Mike. This cold murder case came together after more than 20 years, not only because of advanced DNA uh, technology, but also because of good collaboration between investigators here in Utah and in Ohio, and also a fair bit of luck. It was just a really, really tough case. April 20th, 1998, a woman's body was found near Maidenwater Spring, north of Lake Powell. The body was bound with rope and wrapped in carpet. The woman was not identified and the case went cold. This video from the Utah Department of Public Safety. These things take time and they take money and they take effort. Two decades later, Agent Brian Davis with the Utah Bureau of Investigation says they got a break after they released a photo of the victim. About the same time, police in Youngstown, Ohio, released a photo from a missing persons case, and those pictures connected the cases. Once this identification was made, it was, a, it was a major break for us, obviously, in the case, and we were, again, very happy about it. Using DNA from family who traveled to Utah from Mexico, investigators confirmed her identity as Lena Reyes Geddes of Youngstown. They still didn't know who killed her or how she ended up in Utah, but people in Youngstown knew Lena. They gave us some very interesting information um, regarding Lena and, and her husband at the time, Edward Geddes. Red flags, but no proof. Going back to the evidence, they used updated techniques to collect DNA from the rope that bound Lena, and it matched her husband, Edward Geddes, who died in 2001. He's the only one believed to be involved in her death, and if, if Edward Geddes were still alive, we would we would pursue, you know, pursue charges of homicide in connection to her death. But we are always focused on moving this case forward, and uh, I just want to thank him for his professionalism and his leadership. Agent Davis calls this the most satisfying case in his career. Just, it feels really good to see this kind of closure uh, in this case. So to me, it, it's just, it's very fulfilling. Investigators still don't know exactly how or why Lena ended up in Utah, but they speculate that her husband must have brought the body here because he doesn't have any connections here. So that would not raise any suspicions about him.